2012. You support an NGO called Yuva Parivartan. And recently we've had this debate on whether CSR should be mandatory for organizations. Tell us a little bit about why you support this organization and your thoughts on mandatory CSR. Yeah, well, this is actually uh, uh, run by a cousin of mine who's, uh, who, whose husband was in the corporate sector and, and then, uh, you know, this is a family trust that they have, but this particular activity essentially does something called a second chance, which is uh, to provide jobs training, livelihoods training, to kids who have dropped out of school. Okay. And when I was, you know, uh, talking to them about this, I realized that any job-oriented training that the government or the public sector puts out typically requires you to have passed school. And, you know, that is such a rarity in, in if you take the numbers of people passing out of school. So this idea of livelihood training not being compromised or restricted by the need to pass out of school, I thought was very, uh, very important. And so I've been, you know, I can't say supporting in any, you know, you know uh, material sense, but uh, we're keeping engaged with with, uh, with him and with them, and uh, you know, trying to find ways to sort of contribute. But in my in the process, I came across in Delhi, in other places, many such entities uh, which are actually doing exactly this. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, there is no. Uh, shared knowledge of this. They're, they're not, they're, they're too small and they're too under-resourced to be able to link up with each other and share experiences, best practices, learnings. And um, I think it's very important to try and get this network going so that they're reinforcing each other's uh, efforts. Uh, so that's something that uh, I try to persuade people to uh, 